Hello punters, Pumper here, two-time Melbourne Cup winning jockey. This is the day that it all happens, where every jockey wants to be part of the one of the 24 runners in the Cup. Today I'm looking at Hartnell. His run in the Cox Plate was outstanding behind the champion Mayor Winks. I think getting to the big track at Flemington where he won the Turnbull in slashing style, I think he's the horse to beat. By the time he gets to the winning post the first time round, I'd love to see Macca put him away, maybe fifth or sixth, one back the fence. So he's in a nice rhythm, looks to be good speed in the cup, then he can put him to sleep, save all that energy from the half mile in where he's going to be needing it. Once we get to the thousand, he's going to have to be looking for runners that really can't get the two mile, that are starting to get the stitch. So he's going to have to be looking two, three horses in front of him, all round him, to see what's happening. As he gets up to the 600, very much the same thing again. Horses tiring, coming back. Once he approaches the turn, he's really looking for horses that are swooping, coming round him, horses looking to get off the fence to get out and have that run. Then I can see Macca looking for the clock tower. That's going to be in his mind. That's where the cup starts. Horses really coming home hard. I don't think there's going to be any Kiwi coming with a barnstorming run. But I'm going to be looking out for Jamaica. Nick Hall, very, very bullish. Seen him at the sauna during the week. She's improved. Hartnell. He's got to the clock tower, Mac is still sitting. He's had a little look to the left, a little look to the right. He's gone for home. I can see Jamaica coming hard. Hartnell in front, Jamaica. Hartnell, the Macca, wins the cup for Godolphin. They've tried for many years. I think this day is the big day for Godolphin and Hartnell.